Welcome to the Schmitter's Henrika Woods. So we've been working on getting poplar boards cut for chicken coop. So as we get them cut, we deliver them over to Pendle Farms where they're going to be used. Here just using the tractor to get these unloaded. So as we get them milled and cut, we go ahead and stack and get them delivered. Um, he has room over here to store them so that we can work on getting more boards cut. I'm not as familiar with uh, how his John Deere works and being able to see, but he will get those put on the pallet forks and get them moved up to the building. So on the same trip while we're here, go ahead and utilize uh, his son's bobcat that is over there right now. Uh, it's being used to help get some of the foundation part of the chicken coop done. So while it's over there, go ahead and use it to load up some logs on the trailer. So have a few poplar logs down the bottom and there's a couple of really nice red oak logs that go ahead and get put on there as well. Having a little bit of issue with the grapple at this point, so kind of having to use it more as like a set of forks to pick stuff up, but got those loaded on there and just use some chain binders to get stuff strapped down so it can't go anywhere. I'm going to show you the logs we got back from uh, Pendle Farms. So I had the video of loading them with the skid steer over there. So I had that sk the skid steer to do a little bit of work to rebuild a uh, chicken coop um, and kind of a barn over there. So I have some poplar and red oak that we brought back um, that we're going to utilize uh, to make some more boards. Uh, so one thing I added to the saw shack here it is just a whiteboard so just kind of helping keep track of what we have and what we don't have so basically have a material list of what's needed um, have what we've delivered so far and then kind of here in the blue is kind of what's remaining so that way as we sit down and figure out you know what we can get out of a log um, we can kind of see you know what we're missing so like we have um, uh, all the 2x8s, I think all those are delivered, and then mainly 2x6s and 1x6s, and i um, kind of looking at those, so um, based on the size log that we can, um, that we have, and having that list we can then kind of match up, you know, if we have a good, um, you know, 14 foot log, we'll mill that up and um, hit those 13 foot requirements and we'll start with the two by sixes get those done because those will be kind of the primary um, construction whereas the one by sixes will be all the outside pieces so we're going to focus on the two by sixes now and try to get those knocked out with what we have brought back and then um, and then kind of work from there so these two right here are a couple of uh, pieces of poplar so they're decent sized here so about 19 20 on that one and then about 21 on this one here so pretty straight fair size um, pretty good length in those then we have this piece of red oak that we pulled out. It has some splits on both sides, so I don't know how much good lumber uh, we'll get out of this. Um, kind of have to see once we start milling it up, kind of how that split runs. But it does seem like it may kind of match up here. 
Um, this is one of the trees that was uprooted, so it may have gotten damaged from from that storm. Um, but we're looking at about 24 inches on that one, so it's pretty good size. And then this piece isn't as nice, but we have a piece of uh, poplar here, fair length, uh, and it's not near as big, and has a couple of spots in it and bends, um, but it may be a piece that we can kind of cut in half and get some 10 foot pieces out of, and uh, you know, since it's kind of got a little bit of bend to it, kind of maximize what we can get out of it. So we start with this first log. One thing we found that was really handy is some of the logs, depending on how much moisture there is in them, can kind of get stuck together. So you can see there, I'm actually using the hooker rune to stab into the, the top of it to get it pulled back just a little bit. So you can get your hand under it to um, move either firewood pieces over or they go stacked boards. So for this, I do mostly time lapse. Uh, I've done a lot of videos on the sawmill, so you can check those out if you're curious on kind of more use of the sawmill specifically, but here just kind of wanted to show getting these boards processed and kind of continue the story of, you know, how many logs it takes to, um, you know, build a chicken coop from, from the ground up. Uh, all the boards will be used, um, from stuff that we've cut and the only piece that uh, will be purchased will be like the um, anything that will have contact with the ground and those should be treated just so that they last longer. So here are some of the boards we got done today. Did mainly two by sixes here. And got a couple of one by sixes over there. Um, so these two by sixes are pretty good. These we ended up with a bit of a bow in them, so they're about six inches on this side and about six and a half on that. So um, they just ended up bowing a little bit on the bed, and um, them being 17 foot long, we just can't get it um, pushed down on one side and held down both the clamps. So I think we're gonna try to run those through the table saw to get those um, squared up. So they're two by six. I don't know if it's all of these or just a handful, but um, whenever we get the table saw out to start cleaning up all of this stuff, we're going to run those through too and get them straightened up so that they're um, even all the way across. So I think that's probably the next thing is start getting some of this stuff cleaned up and figure out kind of where we're at. We finally got a, um, a list of everything we need so we can start tallying and checking off what we've uh, already done. So next log for today, getting this one loaded up. And work on getting some more two by material out of this. I'm trying to finish getting all the two by sixes that he needs done. Um, just so that we can kind of get those checked off. And once we have all the two by sixes, we can then start working on the one by material. Occasionally you start getting a little bit wavy cut, so we'll check the blade and see how dull it is, and then if we need to, we go ahead and either change it, and while we change it, we typically try to clean off the belts because that can cause some waves as well. So we're kind of getting the last of this milled up so that we everything that can be put together here for the 2x material we do. And then once all the 2x is together, we'll then stack the sticker it and work on getting it delivered next time we go over. So continue watching as we work on getting all of the material for the chicken coop. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.